Good games should reward players for taking risks. This is one of the things that makes games enjoyable. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has a poor risk reward system, which makes the game less enjoyable as you progress. The risk is too great at the start of the game, and the rewards are not meaningful. The risk reward balance gets worse as you progress through the game, and the game becomes too easy. What is risk and what makes risk good or bad in a video game? Risk is the possibility of something bad will happen. It could be losing health, or your character dying, or losing items or currency, or it could be a change in the story. And without risk, you get a boring game with meaningless rewards, a game that people might say lacks challenge or is too easy. In Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the player has no way of affecting the story, so the risk is only in the combat. There are two elements to the risk when you fight enemies, one is losing health, and the second is losing items. Losing health is the most basic form of risk in a video game. However, on its own, especially in a modern game with complex systems and mechanics, is extremely lacking. This is especially true when, for the majority of the game, you have so little health that most enemies can kill you with one or two hits. This makes the risk too great. Additionally, the fact that this risk is at its greatest when you start the game with three hearts and gets less risky as you progress through the game and increasing your health means that if you play the game this way, you have less risk and too many rewards, which makes the combat feel too easy and boring. The second element of risk is losing items. In many games that have a one-time use items, there is a problem of players hoarding items. Players have two choices, either use the item and potentially waste them, or keep the items until they feel like they need them. This is a difficult problem to solve, as you want the player to use the items, but not make them feel like they are wasting them. Developers have different solutions to this problem such as recharging healing mechanic in games like Dead Cell, The Witcher, or Dark Souls. For example, in Dark Souls, the most used item is the Estus Flask, which is a decent solution to the healing mechanic in Demon's Souls. The player has a limited number of flask charges, which means they don't feel the need to hoard the flask because it recharges before and after encountering enemies. However, the risk of running out of charges and losing health and dying is still there. The one-time used items in Tears of the Kingdom break the sense of exploration and freedom of movement, making the game feel grindy and tedious. In Tears of the Kingdom, the fact that most items can only be used once means the player must go out of their way and farm and look for these items. This breaks the sense of exploration and freedom of movement. It makes the game feel grindy if you don't hoard the items. This is also true for weapons and food. Yes, you can repair weapons, but the fact that you have to do it before it breaks and that you need to go to a specific enemy to do it makes repairing weapons too tedious. In most games with a weapon repair mechanic, you can repair them from an easily accessible menu which makes repairing more convenient. The rewards for fighting enemies are not good because they are mostly one-time use items. They are not special or unique. They may be unique to the enemy, but the fact is, their effects are mostly shared by other items. For example, the Lionel Horns increase damage but so do other items. They are not exciting and they are a bad reward for fighting Lynels because the risk involves consuming food and materials and weapons only to get fewer materials with just higher stat numbers. The risk and reward system in games needs to be balanced and it's a difficult problem for developers to solve. You need to incentivize the player with a meaningful and exciting reward in exchange for them for risking something. If the rewards are greater than the risk, their meaningfulness is diminished, and if the risk is greater than the rewards, then the risk is not worth the effort and the player might feel unsatisfied. A well-balanced risk and reward system is essential for any game. It keeps the players engaged and motivated, and it makes the game more fun. The risk and reward system in this game is not well-balanced, which makes the game less enjoyable as you progress. As I played the game, I noticed that I was becoming less and less satisfied with the combat and exploration. Now don't get me wrong, I think the melee combat itself is good even though it's basic it's good however the more that i fought enemies the less meaningful rewards that i got the more i progressed through the game the easier it became so the risk reward balance got worse as i played the game actually the balance is changing throughout the game at the start the risk is too great you don't have a lot of weapons resources or hearts for the rewards you get then there was a sweet spot in the middle of the game where I started to get more weapons, resources, and enough hearts to deal with more difficult enemies. At that point, I felt the game was at its best, when the effort that I put in was rewarded. Enemies were a bit more difficult, but not too hard, and the rewards I got were still new to me. After that, the game got much easier, and the rewards were less meaningful. I felt that I didn't need to explore or fight enemies, 
and honestly I didn't feel like wanting to finish the game. It was at that point that I realized the game has a bad risk and reward balance. So yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic as well. Do you agree with my assessment of the risk reward balance in Tears of the Kingdom? Please leave a comment below and let me know.